Everyone's very quiet right now. Yeah, we're gonna talk about something. Don't really don't serious. look at me like you're trying to see my soul. Only Paul has those blade two eyes. Yeah, I'm just looking at regular eyes. I'm just looking really? around, like depressed. This is a very serious subject we're gonna talk about right now. You guys are. Go I'm, for not, it. I'm not looking at anybody, man. No, I'm not looking at anybody. I'm just looking at his feet. <laughs> I'm just looking. <laughs> He's saying I'm not looking at anybody while looking directly looking. at me <laughs> with <laughs> eyes wide open. Before I was just looking down, man. You guys were staring at each eyes other. Eyes wide open. I'm looking at the room, checking it out. Eyes wide open. <laughs> Very fucked up movie. Eyes wide shut. Eyes, eyes, wide, shut. eyes wide shut. I don't know what other movie you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's that other movie. <laughs> that was a cheap knockoff. Eyes, eyes wide, wide open. open. Which I. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> Which eye? You got a left eye. You got a right eye. I mean, yeah, yeah, you got yeah, a third yeah. eye. Yeah, you got your third eye. Yeah. The, the blade. The blade two eyes. The blade two eyes. The blade two soul searching eyes. Speaking of blade two, There's one eye left. But I mean. <laughs> Going along the similar lines of the podcast we did a couple of weeks ago with um, the vehicles of pop culture history, what makes them iconic and why we would want certain ones. We're like, let's continue down this rabbit hole and do the iconic weapons of pop culture history. Yeah. like And weapons either for good or bad or whatever they're used for, whether it's uh, comics, movies, TV, anything that we could think of and... You know what their significance is, and you know which one we would want at the end. Okay. So let's go for it. What do you think, George? What's one of yours? Weapons. Yeah. Oh man, uh, I saw with the armor, whether it be like Iron Man or War Machine, it's pretty badass. Yeah, that is a weapon. Their whole body is a suit. Yeah, they're in a suit. Yeah. So, I mean, it's you know it's cool to have something like that. You can just hop yeah, in there. Cool. And yeah, but I would, if it was me, I would want just the nanotech uh, Iron Man armor. Because yeah. can you imagine putting that thing on and then like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's true. Oh, you just pop, you pop off in the back, man. Oh, it has a trap door in the back? Yeah, the whole, you know, the whole thing goes. Yeah. And you walk out. Or that briefcase armor that he has. The briefcase armor. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem with the briefcase armor. It takes too damn long. Yeah. So everyone just, you know, you're whoops be, your ass while you're, you're getting dressed. murked by it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Paul, what's one? I, I mean, to me, the king, the king of weapons is Batman. With his utility belt? With his utility belt, which is in itself is maybe a weapon, but he carries all well, his... Whenever he gets captured, they take away his utility yeah, belt. Yeah, but that's where he keeps his weapons. And, you know, his, none toys. more famous than the Batarangs. Batarangs, the grappling hook. The shark repellent. The shark repellent. Smoke bombs. The smoke bombs. Kryptonite. I and mean, the guy's got everything kryptonite. in there. He does have kryptonite. The guy's got, a, like, the kitchen sink in there, man. Yeah, yeah. it's true. And depending on the mission, he takes... The specific weapons that he needs for that mission. My favorite, though, is like even in the cartoons, he'll just reach behind his back in the utility belt and bust out like the biggest like underwater mask yeah. ever. It's like, oh, hell yeah, man. Hold me. That doesn't fit in there. It's bigger on the inside. Oh, <laughs> speaking of bigger on the inside, we have the Doctor Who sonic screwdriver. The hell does that have to do with being bigger on the inside? That's the TARDIS. That's the TARDIS, bigger. yes. Yeah, but it's in the same realm. George. It's a screwdriver. It's I consider that a weapon. I mean, it doesn't work on wood, but... <laughs> It's more like a, it's a tool. It's a tool. It's a weapon. <laughs> He's gotten out of many uh, situations with the sonic screwdriver. All right, cool. Then I want to see a, a, a super handyman also. <laughs> Bob the Builder. Bob Builder. Yeah. Oh, Bob. I, I went Bob, Bob Builder. Yeah. He went Bob the Builder. <laughs> um, no, but one of the most iconic weapons I think everybody knows is the Star Wars lightsaber. It is. It is iconic. It is. But can I can I one up you with? How about a, a gauntlet? The, not the Infinity Gauntlet. The Nano Gauntlet? The Nano Gauntlet. The Nano Gauntlet. It is pretty badass. There Ooh, you go. For people stuff. watching For people watching on the video, George just busted out of his pants. Yeah, busted so. it out. Yeah, this came out of my pants. Yep. Yeah. But uh, That is probably one of the like the coolest weapons. Well, yeah. I mean, you have everything there. Yeah. You have you time, it. reality, space, soul. But it's... Like, just how it looks, too. I mean, rocking that gauntlet looks... Like, you look cool with that gauntlet on, you know? No. Because, yeah, Batman's got the belt, and everybody just has... You like can only use it in. once, though. But, yeah. Well, the movie version, yes. Yeah, the movie version. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying... No, nah, but, I mean, you can use the individual stones. Yeah. You don't got to yes. go all crazy and use all of them. Yeah, buddy. you don't have to go and, like, murk half the universe, but... You it's, don't got to reinvent the wheel, cool man. Weapon. You just got to, you know, drive. If you had to pick one Infinity Stone, which one would it be? Probably the power one. I pick time. Reality. Reality Damn, we either. all go different. Yeah, no, I go definitely go power. I def time. I go with reality. I mean, they all have their own their own sets, but power is just power. Yeah, I mean, time, time and reality, you can do a lot more with that. 
I just want power, man. So I'll, I'll, I'll go I back in time till before you get the powers. I don't need power, bro. <laughs> I don't need like, the power, bro. Paul just Tony Montana. You know? yeah. He's sitting there yeah. in front of the table of cocaine. I just want power. <laughs> and he wants a tiger, too. That's a weapon. <laughs> cocaine. The cocaine's yeah, a weapon. It's a hell of a drug. It's a hell of a drug, but it's a hell of a weapon. It can, it can make you a weapon, <laughs> or it can make you think you're a weapon afterwards. Rick and Morty's portal gun. Yeah. That thing takes you everywhere. It can take you everywhere. And anywhere. Yeah. I know we're big fans. Paul's not. No, I'm good. Have you ever seen it? No, I've never seen it. Yeah, watch it. I should. I need. I need to watch it. I do definitely need to watch it. It's on my list. It's okay. on my list of shows that I'll never watch. But <laughs> it's like I'm bored on Saturday afternoon. What should I not watch? Okay, here it is. Rick and Morty. Gonna, gonna watch. watch. <laughs> we got Harry Potter's wand, bro. I knew he was gonna mention Harry Potter. Yes, he hates yeah, it. Yeah, he hates it. But you keep bringing him up every time. Because I mean, the weapon is an iconic weapon. Yeah. Especially how you use it, you know? Yeah, no, you gotta I, do I, that. That <laughs> meme is the best. I'm a go, go, go. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Going to the video game realm, Mega Man's Blaster. Yeah. That's cool. Like, that was like, dude, the guy has had like probably 20 something games. I know. And it's yeah, all been based he, off he, that blaster. He shoots out little pill pods out of his gun. Depends. He could shoot out leaf. Leaves? Oh, it's incredible! Can you, hey guys, oh, watch out! I'm gonna shoot this guy yeah, with a leaf, fucking dust, with a, with a, <laughs> or fucking wood chips. I'm gonna hit him with a dust buster yeah. and shoot all the garbage out. Dude, you get that in your eyes? Oh, that for could, yeah, that could be slightly irritating. Very irritating. <laughs> yeah, can you get? Hey, you got some water in that gun? <sighs> all right, what you got? Yo, that's gonna be slightly you? irritating in the eye. <laughs> nope. What? Hey, I'm gonna go dust, with dust, bro. <laughs> dust. <laughs> yes. I don't, what are you thinking? I know. I asked you what. Oh, okay, I just, he's the one that said something. <laughs> I asked what. I was genuinely curious of what you were thinking about. You know an iconic weapon? What? The common kitchen knife, bro. Fair. It comes out in every movie. Doesn't he have to be like I a mean, character? I, I, I mean, just thought of two movies: uh, Halloween and Scream. Thought, yeah, Halloween was the what was I thought? Yeah, it was what dragged it into it. But yeah, Psycho. Scream. But then Psycho, Psycho as well. Everybody yeah. else always runs for that kitchen knife, you know. Many uh, real life documentaries have been based on <laughs> <laughs> the kitchen knife, the smoking Many gun. People, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's it's just a common tool. It's a common knife, and it's just used always yeah. as a weapon. And everybody has one. And everybody right. has one. Yeah. The knife, the weapon. That that's the super pro of weapons, right there. That's right. Everybody has it. Everybody can use it. <laughs> so what else you got, George? Did you finally come up with one? <laughs> yeah. I, before I was interrupted with whatever Paul had going on there, I was going to say uh, uh, Black Panther's suit and his vibranium claws. Okay. Eh. Eh? You want to eh? elaborate? Eh? You, just, you just said knives. And you're telling me eh? At least that's a weapon. You're talking about a suit. There's two suits you mentioned already. So Three, he said. Iron Man. It's not really a machine. weapon. I, I would say Iron Man's suit is more of a weapon than Black Panther's weapon or as a suit. He's got vibranium claws; he can cut through anything. Oh, he he pointed at me like, "Do I have no? Oh. I'm, no, I'm I'm looking at the the Black Panther statue behind me. Oh, yeah. okay, fine. I'll give you that. All right, Mister Knives. <laughs> it's a weapon. It's a legit weapon. You didn't even go for Freddy Krueger. You went for a regular steak knife. It's a weapon. That's what they use. A steak knife. He was like the biggest cleaver in the freaking knife kit. Ah, bro, go find me a go 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 find me a Navy Seal. Kill you with a spoon. We're gonna put spoon at the top of the list. Probably. No, you know what's at the top of my list? <laughs> what? Green Arrow's boxing glove. Oh, just to get the arrow. The arrow that comes out <laughs> as a boxing glove. Can you imagine just getting hit with that thing and then how you tell the story? It's like, oh, this dude shot an arrow at me, and then a boxing glove came out and knocked me out. I can totally imagine. We started doing a podcast about weapons, and one brings out a steak knife. The other one says a punching glove arrow. Yeah. But Those then George right. comes out with a suit. <laughs> 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 I don't know what's so funny. I'm just looking down the list. <laughs> you were holding down lefty. You know what's one of the most powerful weapons, though, that we haven't talked about? <laughs> what? I haven't said anything. What is I haven't said a thing, dude. What is it? Because something just popped in here. Yeah. What I was about to say. <laughs> uh, Green Lantern's powering. True. Like, that's literally an armor, shield, anything that comes to your mind, it'll come up. It is, it is. But we talked about this before. The problem is someone throws mustard at him, and he's, he's down for the count. <laughs> He'll be fine. Just put up two shields. You'll be two good. Two shields. So. Okay. Derek, speaking of, cap shield. Exactly. That's a weapon. It is. It's made out of vibranium, just like Black Panther's claws. He but at least he could throw this. <laughs> He did get you there. At least he could throw the shield. He, he throws like vibranium knives at people. Who? 
Black Panther. Those vibranium knives? Yes. Okay. You said the suit though. Then you kind of like try to cut. You shit. try to like fix it with a with a cloth, no. and now you're throwing like you're like throwing things. Bro, and you stuff. said steak knife. <laughs> it's steak a what? Knife. It's been used more than freaking a suit. You said steak knife. Is it not? Steak knife. You know, at that point, you could go into Freddy Krueger's finger knives. I, exactly. You could have at least gone to that. You said steak knife, dude. Do you have a finger knife? More characters use a knife than a suit. A butter knife. Yeah. This guy's talking about butter knives. <laughs> We're playing the real life game of Clue. It was Paul in the kitchen with, with a the kitchen knife. Let's see what happens in the comments to see if people actually think about kitchen knives being weapons more than a suit. Well, at that point, you could get a plastic grocery bag. Seriously. That's true, yeah. Yeah, this podcast is taking a very dark turn. Listen, so. bro, I'm just going to get a pack of straws and throw them in the ocean. <laughs> but that one turtle. Every that turtle. one turtle. <laughs> you get every turtle. That turtle. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Paper straws. You know turtles are delicious, right? I've never had turtle, but I, I know turtle, people have. Yeah. I've had turtle soup once. It's delicious. Okay. This took very dark very quickly. Hey, there what are, about... Are, hey, listen, there are, there are just... Oh, turtle. yeah. There's turtle farms where they they get farmed just for that. Oh, no. I go to the beach and grab them when they're going to lay the eggs and then just, you know... <laughs> Paul waits for the mother to leave and then digs up the eggs. Paul's going to get a DM Why would I wait for her to leave? <laughs> Paul's going to get a DM from Fish and Wildlife. <laughs> I want fresh turtle eggs, bro. <laughs> I'll give you his address. Yeah. Does that mean it? Right, cool. Um, 007's golden gun from the game. Okay, the game from the the gun from the golden eye game. Yeah, from the golden eye. Shoot through anything. Yeah, it was the golden gun. Though. Yeah, it was you shot through walls. That's you cheap. killed everybody. Cheat weapon. That's not cheat weapon. Cheap. Everybody has the ability to get the golden gun. The whole thing is who gets to it first. Exactly. Cheat, cheat gun. It's he never got to it first, did he? No, he didn't. <laughs> no, cheat gun, bro. It's a cheat gun. <laughs> Since we were talking about turtles, I thought you were going to go into the turtles. The Ninja Turtles. And all their weapons. The Ninja Turtles, yeah. <coughs> they all have their weapons and um, the personality behind why they have those weapons. But what? you know what? I'll just leave it for the comment section. Because that's like an internet like theory. No, of, it's of actually what? true. I've, I saw it in, in several places. And it it makes sense why they give each of the turtles the weapons based on their personalities. Do you want to go over that? No, I don't. Because both of you are looking at me. <laughs> so you know what? I'm not playing this game. No. <laughs> We're not doing the weapons. What about Wolverine's claws? Are they a weapon or are they more like a, like a body part? Well, if they're not a weapon, then Black Panther's claws aren't weapons then. Because it's the same thing. They're, no. It's they're the, same the same thing. thing. They don't come from it's his claws, body, dude. They come claws? from his suit. Are they claws? They're built into the suit. They're still claws. I understand. This, these claws grew out of this guy's forearms. And then they got covered in adamantium. Uh-huh. So. All right. Aren't they technically knives too? <laughs> <laughs> they are knives. <laughs> Yes, they are knives. Uh -huh. Indestructible I mean, knives. Indestructible, sharp ass. They're like a sword, practically. You know what else is indestructible and sharp? I don't want to hear it. What? My kitchen knife. Bro. <laughs> I mean, those are the, they're really sharp. Just you like have the one that cuts through like wooden cut yeah, chopping like boards. Gingsu. Yeah, <laughs> Gingsu knives. This guy. Um, we, have, we have other iconic weapons that, you know, are not really practical, like Indiana Jones bullwhip. I, I mean, they were practical at the time. Yes, at the time. <laughs> it gets him out of in a pinch, man. But in he in beat cap. somebody with a gun, with a bull whip. You know, there was like gaps he had to get across, so he just used the whip as the a whip. The whip is, hook, to, is, to get a, is to get across, yeah. you know, high places. Yeah. Maybe to catch himself. It's more like it's more like the it's a tool to get around. I'd say it's more useful than you think. Yeah. Like, hey, got him out of a pinch, man. Yeah. No, it did get him out of several pinches. And it saved short round. You Plus, know? it's yeah. iconic. It's, it's iconic. iconic. That and the fedora. Yeah. The fedora and his gun that sounds like a freaking cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Another iconic weapon, the Star Trek phaser. Yeah. You can set it to stun or to kill. Yeah, you can. Why would you set it to stun? <laughs> Remember, they're peaceful. Right, so well, why would you have a kill, a kill switch on it? Yeah. Because sometimes peace doesn't work out, George. You, you <laughs> need to lay down the law. To like, what, what do you for, what, get in, but in the morning you forget to switch the little button? <laughs> Can you imagine you're in training practice and you're, yeah, like, everybody you like has to, a stun except that one person? You like to study each other? It's the way it messes up and just blasts the other guy? Or if you got to like kill a roach, <laughs> put it on kill. <laughs> and then you forget to change it back. Yeah, exactly. Because you know, there are roaches in space. Are there? There has to be. <laughs> there has everywhere. to be. How would they get up there? They're How everywhere. would they survive up there? Dude, they're, they're everywhere. They, but they would be frozen. They've been they've been on Earth and they'll be here way before or way after us. Oh. I'm sure there's a rogue somewhere. <laughs> a Ghostbusters proton pack? Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you directed it at a person, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it's They're, it's for wrangling ghosts, but they can do some serious damage to everything around it. Yeah. Dude, we haven't talked about the biggest weapons of them all. Mirnor and Stormbreaker. Yeah. Anything that, that, that Odin made, yeah. Those are those are crazy ass weapons. Yeah, even the Bifrost. Is that a that's not a weapon? That's well, a, like that's Himdal's a, a sword. Of you know? transportation. Yeah, Himdal's sword. But we have that, then we also have um other powerful swords are King Arthur's Excalibur, He Man's Power Sword, and Thundercats' Sword of Omens. No, I'm Those not are gonna cool. see. Oh, well, here we go again. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not gonna see. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, it's, it's, I yes, I know, and I know. Where you, I know what you guys are gonna say. I know what you guys are gonna reply. But the sword is just so it's just like a used weapon. It's a long kitchen knife. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I know you guys are gonna say, but it's just like uh, they I have powers know. behind it. There's something special about those swords. What about uh, you know what I like? I and mean, it doesn't get talked about much because the last movie that came out sucked, but. Hellboy's pistol, Good Samaritan. The Samaritan, yeah, yeah that's cool. What's well, cool is that every you know, he's got all these different bullets that do different things. It's pretty nice. Oh, he does. Yeah, I didn't know. That. The bullets are for for, for, for different demons and stuff. They each have different different things they can do. Okay, no, I'm not a Hellboy fan, so I didn't know that. I what's know he had the big ass gun, but that's who, it. What, what's the other? And what's his arm called? The hand of God, the, right? The right, the right hand, hand of God. The right hand, the right hand of, of doom. doom. Of doom. Doom. Because it's the one that opens up hell, mm-hmm. right? That's yeah, the big one. Yeah, yeah, not the little one, not the not the regular hand that anybody can stick in. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's okay, bro. It's okay. <laughs> Can't take you anywhere, bro. That's it. I'm done. I don't got any more weapons to talk about. <laughs> what you say? You can stick it in anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> I like the motion he gives you. <laughs> he's done it before, you know. Because I saw that movie where he had to stick his hand in and turn to open up the devil. What are you? <laughs> what are you plugging? Does I mean, he stick his hand in to open the door. <laughs> Tell me, yes or no? I can just see Jimmy's like little arm going through the big ass hole where the big ass arm's supposed to go in. Be like, doesn't fit, guys. Doesn't like, fit. Damn, that's like a fucking hot dog through a hallway. In here. <laughs> hey, listen, bro. I'm gonna. Let us know what <laughs> weapons we might have missed, <laughs> guys. Let us know what weapons we might have missed in the comments. And until next time. Thank you for listening to the Magic City Podcast. Don't forget to listen to us on any of your uh, favorite streaming platforms. Make sure to like and subscribe. Appease those algorithm gods, as Paul likes to say. And make sure to leave comments. Let us know if you like it, dislike it. If you think we're full of crap. If you like listening to us, just let us know.